Damien, outside boots here in Harwood today, yep. and you're wearing a very, you know, this shop doesn't pay tax, which makes your tax higher. What, what motivated you to do this? Um, years of frustration of knowing how bad things are becoming for everyday people. Um, and you just had the police with you? Uh, yeah, I had a policeman come and approach me uh, just to question me really, what, why I'm here, what, are my, what, what my plans are. Um, but he was really understanding, which was more than what I'd hoped for because I actually thought that I might get arrested today, but I was more than prepared, that's why I don't on a Saturday. Um, but he was very understanding, um, so yeah, that's, we had a conversation, he, he asked me for my details, I declined because I'm not legally obliged to give him my details unless I've actually committed a crime or suspected of committing a crime. So yeah, he was understanding, he's gone on his way and um, yeah, I'm still here. What do you hope to gain by what you're doing? And this is awareness. Nice, awareness. This awareness. is nice isolated, isn't it? Have you done this before? Uh, I've been on protests in London with other activists and whatnot, yeah, but this is probably the first time I've made uh, made one on my own. Uh, do you, you, I've just interviewed a Labour candidate for a, a by-election in, in a ward here in Harlem. Mark Paul, are, are you... Uh, do you sympathise with any of the mainstream parties? To be honest with you, I don't really have any confidence in our current polit political system. I think that it's flawed and unless we change the system itself, then it's going to continue to affect the people at the bottom. If there's one thing about the system, as you call it, that you could change, what is it you would change? That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big question. I would personally, if I had it my way, I would eradicate money. I would eradicate money, but that's a long, long conversation of how you would do that. But that's what I would do personally. I mean, there's, there's a thing called the Venus Project. I don't know whether you've heard of it, which is really, really interesting. Um, it's something definitely to look into for people looking for alternative methods of uh, surviving, living. And uh, come uh, May the seventh this year, do you think people should vote? I think people should do what's right for them. You know, I'm not going to tell people to vote, I'm not going to tell people not to vote. It's not my place, it's their place. But personally, because I'm still in a position where I don't know whether I'm going to vote or not, because truth be told, I don't think it's really going to change anything. But then that's more of a reason to give it a go, I suppose. But I, could, I wouldn't really like to tell people to vote or not to vote.